According to the LA Times, Tina Knowles Lawson has filed for divorce from All My Children actor Richard Lawson after eight years of marriage. The fashion designer and mother of superstar musicians Beyonce and Solange Knowles cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for the split. According to her petition filed Wednesday in Los Angeles Superior Court and obtained by the Times. Of course, this is sad news. I, I don't like to see divorce, especially during this, their age, like being older up in age. And that's another topic for another time. But as I seen this, I seen online where on a shade room, I believe they posted a video of the Black Love Doc and seeing their communication or lack thereof and what you've seen on camera when they were talking. And now that they've actually divorced and looking at the video from the Black Love Doc that maybe aired a couple of years ago, had people talking back then. And people are even talking now today, considering seeing the body language and the way what Richard wasn't saying, but what it almost felt like what he wanted to say on camera. And a lot of times we talk about body language. Body language is so important. So sometimes it's not even what you say. It's just the body language that's there's something on the inside that maybe you want to come out, but you don't want to say it because you're on camera, especially to my coaches. This is for my relationship coaches. Before you get on camera, make sure that you and your spouse are good. And this isn't to put on the front or anything. But to just to make sure that you address, is there something that we need to talk about? I remember one time my wife and I, transparent moment, we were about to do a recording and she asked me, like, are we good? Because it was a tough week. We was dealing with a lot of stuff, was having differences. And she asked me, was I good? Because before we get on this interview, she want to make sure that we OK, that we're in unison, that we're on the same page. And I was thinking to myself, yeah, we're good. But I had to think, too, like, oh, let's address whatever needs to be addressed, because if you don't deal with it off camera, it will show up on camera. Right. And I think that's good, a good practice for couples who have some form of influence or YouTubers or you have a platform just to make sure that you address what need to be addressed sometimes. And I just want to go a little deeper. It's almost it's better to go to war sometimes before having peace. So say what you need to say. I know I struggle with this big time because I would like to try to keep the peace. But in the process, I realized that I was stonewalling and I was shut down because I felt like I, I didn't want to say what was really in my heart. So I had to learn over time that sometimes it's OK to go to war so you can get it out the way, deal with it. And you'll be surprised how much better your relationship can be just by bringing something up that really need to be addressed or something that's really been bothering you. Now, I will say that there is some tact that needs to go in place because you just don't want to just go off. Right. You want to make sure that the environment is safe and that you both can have this conversation and asking, you know, are you available to talk? Maybe we need to address something. So if you are a coach or you have some kind of platform or you might be on a video documentary, who knows? And you and your spouse are having differences. Don't jump on that video until you address what needs to be dealt with. I remember seeing an a interview with Kadeen and Deval Ellis, and I think it was for the Black Love Doc, too, that right before they came to record they were arguing and going off on each other and as soon as they opened the door they're like hey how are y'all doing let's go ahead and you know record and stuff like that and i get it sometimes life happens but for the most part if you know something's coming up address it deal with it you don't even have to have a platform right just deal with the issues that need to be addressed because there's a lot of couples that walk on eggshells and they feel that they can't say anything and, and there's never a right time to address certain things. Or as a man, especially with men, a lot of times we don't want to go to war. We don't want to argue because we understand that a lot of men are going to lose that argument, bringing something to the table that y'all was cool, but now you got to address it. He's just like, oh man, she's going to start tripping now. 
<laughs> you know, so a lot of times men, we aren't even we would rather just keep the peace a lot of times. And that's not all men, because I know some people in the comments are going to say some things. So I'm saying all this to say that watching that video from the Black Love Doc and seeing Richard and Tina interact with each other, they just look so comfortable. There was so much that could have been said. It seemed like they were just dealing with so much. Maybe they shouldn't have had done a video considering now it's resurfacing and that they're going through a divorce. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I do both believe that they will be okay. So to all my relationship coaches, people who are married relationships, if you do have an issue that need to be addressed, address it. And if they tru truly love you, they'll make sure that everything is okay in the end. And a lot of times you will feel better knowing that I didn't know you felt that way. And it leads to other conversations and it leads to deeper intimacy. Hey, thanks again for watching another segment of A Scary to Remarry. I have so much more amazing content and some phenomenal guests as well. People who've been through a divorce, people who remarried, people who desire to marry. So much great content. So make sure that you hit one of these videos. It's somewhere around here. But anyway, go watch another video. Thank you.